a very good morning today we'll begin your unit 5 in which we will discuss about lasers we will discuss about fiber optics and we will also discuss about uh, some thermal radiations so we'll start with the last thing first which is on thermal radiations and the question is what is radiation or what are thermal radiations <clears throat> so radiation is actually another name for energy which is due to electromagnetic fields <clears throat> and this electromagnetic field involves the entire spectrum of radio wave, microwave. You have here gamma rays, X rays, ultraviolet rays, visible rays, infrared. So gamma X U V I M R. So it is having full spectrum of electromagnetic fields and energy due to any of these will lie in radiations where thermal radiations we consider in infrared region which are perceivable but any body emits electromagnetic radiations so i'm saying <coughs> any body emits electromagnetic radiation and i'm doing saying that because the pen which i'm holding this pen is emitting electromagnetic radiation the paper on which I am writing is emitting electromagnetic radiation my body is emitting electromagnetic radiation so we are all source of electromagnetic radiations there are a few bodies which will emit radiation in a continuous range of frequencies such a body we call as black body And the radiations coming out of such a body are called as black body radiations. So, if you have an ideal body, which is physically not possible to have such a black body, you have a black body such that it emits or absorbs all continuous range of frequencies right from 0 hertz to infinite hertz all range of frequencies if this body any body which I am having can absorb or it emits all the frequencies such a body we call it as continuous uh, black body and the radiations coming out of such a body is called as black body radiation so ideal body says that it emits and absorb all continuous range of frequencies is called black body and the radiations coming out the radiations coming out of such a body is black body radiation in fact kiss frequency ki kitni power emit hogi it will depend on what is the temperature of the body okay what is the temperature of the body and then comes the concept of black body radiation and you will have to plot the spectral density which means that energy radiated per unit time per unit area per unit solid angle for a particular frequency and you have to plot it over entire range of frequencies that curve we call as black body radiation curve we will come to it later but first I will focus on how the spectral power or the power density depends on temperature so there is a concept we call as Stephens Boltzmann law it says that 
the power emitted per unit area it means energy per unit time per unit area emitted by any body at a temperature t so for example let me say that this fellow is having body temperature t then the energy emitted by this man per unit area per unit time will be directly proportional to fourth power of temperature fourth power of temperature we call that as stephen's law so if you remove this proportionality sign you will have to include a constant so power radiated per unit area is equals to a constant we call this as stephen's constant and t raised to the power 4 sometimes not 100% of the energy radiated is because of the thermal properties that's why we use a term emissivity how much electromagnetic energy is associated with that temperature and you can use the term emissivity okay <clears throat> so we can write that emissivity is a measure of an object's ability measure of an object's ability to emit radiation okay so it is an ability of the object for example ye object kitna electromagnetic radiation emit kar deta hai okay and ideally for black bodies this emissivity is taken to be 1 but you know that no ideal body is possible so for many practical values you will have emissivity which will have values close to 1 but definitely less than 1 <coughs> okay so for example jaise kuch organic paints hain ya oxidized surface hai unki emissivity nearly 0.95 tak ya 95% tak hoti hai okay nearly 0.95 so in this you will have to include a term which is emissivity which is p by a is equals to emissivity which is a percentage of ability stephen's constant t raised to the power 4 okay emissivity is a unitless quantity which is just a comparison with the black body to so, ek black body agar us temperature pe hogi तो वो क्या रेडिएशन देगी एज कंपेयर टू अ सिंपल बॉडी विच इज नॉट अ ब्लैक बॉडी अगर वो उस टेम्परेचर पे है तो कितने रेडिएशन देगी तो देर इज अ फ्रैक्शनल डिफरेंस फॉर एग्जांपल एक ब्लैक बॉडी के 97 परसेंट रेडिएशन विल कम आउट फ्रॉम एन ऑर्डिनरी बॉडी सो विल से दैट 97 परसेंट इज द एमिटी फाइन नाउ एन अदर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज टू नो वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस कॉन्स्टेंट विच इज सिग्मा sigma has a constant value it is you can write that sigma is equals to 5.67 into 10 to the power minus 8 5.67 into 10 to the power minus 8 and what will be the units units will be watt per meter square kelvin raised to the power 4 okay so in meter square per kelvin raised to the power 4 jo hai wo denominator mein and watt is in numerator so you can write that <clears throat> the power radiated per unit area by a body is equals to emissivity into temperature of that body raised to the power 4 into 5.67 into 10 raised to the power minus 8 watts per meter square वॉट्स पर मीटर स्क्वायर हो गई यूनिट पावर की यूनिट वॉट एंड एरिया की यूनिट मीटर स्क्वायर अब टी रेस्ट टू दावर फोर की यूनिट हमें यहाँ से घटानी होगी तो कैलविन की पावर फोर 
कि दिस इज योर पोर्ट्समैन सॉरी स्टीफन स्लॉ ओके नाउ देर इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन गिवन इन योर क्वेश्चन बैंक आई कैन टेक दैट एज एन एग्जाम्पल वे आर आस्किंग यू टू डिटरमाइन वॉट विल बी द एनर्जी रेडिएटेड energy radiated per second by a body for example this is a person on an average iska surface area jo hai is given to be let me just look up the pages <clears throat> 1.4 meter square so this is given to be 1.4 meter square the surface area okay jo surface temperature hai the surface temperature of this man is given to be 33 degree celsius 33 degree celsius now you see that it is in celsius and we use this unit in kelvin so you will have to convert according 33 degree celsius and this man is actually in a room jahan ka temperature is 20 degree celsius so always if you want to find out the radiation because of this man then it is not just the temperature of surface but the difference between the two temperatures which will which you will account for okay so using stephen's law the power radiated per unit area will be equals to the emissivity and also it is given that emissivity is 97% so e is equals to 0.97 okay 97% means you can use e to be 0.97 so sigma e sigma t1 raised to the power 4 minus t2 raised to the power 4 the quintic power of the temperature ka subtraction lena hoga in order to find out how much energy was radiated by that person okay so it is not the absolute temperature it is the relative temperature which you will account for so you get power per unit area is equals to 5.67 into 10 to the power minus 8 into 0.97 and because this is 33 so you will first convert this into kelvins by adding 273 it will become nearly 273 plus 30s <coughs> it will be 200 and uh sorry 306 kelvins minus 293 kelvins raised to the power 4 raised to the power 4 so 306 raised to the power 4 minus 293 raised to the power 4 and then you will get your answer in watt per meter square but this is still power per unit area and not power so let me just calculate it using my calculator what i'll get is this so i have to write 306 so it is actually 273 plus 33 which is 306 raised to the power 4 it's a big number and i will have to subtract it with 293 raised to the power 4 so i got a big number which is 1397649695 which is a big number i have to multiply it with 0.97 and i have to again multiply it with 5.67 into 10 to the power minus 8 so i got 76.86 so power per unit area is 76.86 watts per meter square okay and i have to now multiply in order to find out energy what is the surface area 1.4 so if i multiply it with 1.4 So it comes out to be that the energy per unit time or the power radiated is nearly 107.6 at this temperature, which is 33, 33 Celsius. Fine. So this is all about Stephen's law. And the same Stephen's law, we also call it as Stephen's Boltzmann's law. in which you relate the power with the temperature of the body 
So, for example, if you know how much power is radiated by sun per unit area, then you can actually relate this with its temperature. So, in a way, just by analyzing how much power per unit area is radiated, you can estimate temperature of star, temperature of sun, temperature of anybody. Okay, so that's what we are going to do in this unit. In next part of the video, we will discuss uh, black body radiations and Rayleigh genes and Planck's radiation law.